Welcome back to Diabetes Every Day. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and sign up for my newsletter at DiabetesEveryday.com. Today I'm back to my series of videos on the different groups of carbohydrate foods. Managing our consumption of carbohydrates, both the total volume and the timing of our daily consumption, is maybe the most important and most difficult aspect of diabetes management. And some members of today's group illustrate that perfectly. Today, we're talking about starchy vegetables. Now, I've already done a video like this on non-starchy vegetables, and I just want to be clear on a few things. First, in many ways, vegetables are vegetables. They all contain important nutrients, antioxidants, and fiber. They come in a vast variety of tastes and appearances to brighten our plates and our homes and our gardens and to be some of our favorite foods. What divides non-starchy from starchy when it comes to diabetes is portion size. Starchy vegetables have starch. Starch is lots of sugar, glucose, bonded together for easy storage or structure. Our video about non-starchy vegetables had us talking about portion sizes equal to 15 grams for carbohydrate in multiple cups, two and a half, three, or even four cups. Today, we'll be talking in fractions of a cup at a time. What are some starchy vegetables? Potatoes, sweet potatoes, corn, winter squashes like acorn, green peas, Lima beans, cassava, and taro root, and parsnips are the classics. So let's talk about the iconic potato, a starchy vegetable native to the Americas. In fact, we visited the land of wild potatoes in Peru and learned that potatoes weren't introduced in Europe until the 1500s. So a large baked potato with skin, about 10 to 12 ounces gives you half of the recommended daily intake of vitamin C and B6 plus niacin, folate, iron, manganese, phosphorus, copper, magnesium, and 46% of your daily dose of potassium, more than a banana and essential for blood pressure, and more than six grams of fiber too. That is a healthy food, and it's also 60 plus grams of carbohydrate. That means our portion containing 15 grams of carb is about three ounces of a potato, mashed about one half cup. One half cup is the portion size for corn too, and green peas, parsnips, lima beans, and sweet potatoes. Hard shell squashes have a slightly larger portion to get 15 grams carbohydrate, three quarters cup. Taro and cassava, a portion smaller, one third cup. There are other vegetables and even a fruit that you may or may not find on a list of starchy vegetables or a list on non-starchy vegetables. Pumpkin is closely related to hard shell squashes, but the portion size is one and one quarter cup compared to three quarters cup for the squashes. Plantains, actually a fruit, are often listed as starchy vegetables, maybe for how they're prepared. The 15 grams carbohydrate portion is one quarter cup. That is certainly starchy. Rutabagas offer a one cup portion and turnips closer to two cups. Potatoes are a tough one, I understand. We are confronted with them constantly. Baked potatoes is the faithful dinner companion and french fries the fast food standard. But Morton's jumbo baked potato is 90 grams of carbohydrate. McDonald's large fries almost 70 grams. Don't forget potato and corn chips. The temptation to splurge is constantly there, but like it or not, starchy vegetables are both incredibly healthy and starchy. Please understand I'm not saying you can't have any of these vegetables. Managing diabetes also means managing our carbohydrate intake from starchy vegetables. And that means learning to love portions smaller than what we may have been used to. Until next time, 
one we'll talk about beans and lentils. Cheers to your health.